we're asked to use the graph of f of x to sketch the graph of f prime of x, or the derivative of f of x. The derivative function values are equal to the slopes of the tangent lines to f of x at given values of x. So what we'll do is sketch several tangent lines to the graph of f of x, estimate the slopes of the tangent lines, and record the information below. Every x and slope of corresponding tangent line will give us one point on the graph of f prime of x. Let's begin by sketching the tangent line at x equals zero, which should be this point here. The tangent line would look like this. And now to estimate the slope of the tangent line, which will give us an estimate for the derivative function value. So from the point of tangency, notice how if we go up four units and right one unit, we find another point on the tangent line. The ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change, or rise over run, is equal to four divided by one, or four. So below, when x is equal to zero, the slope of the tangent line is equal to four. The point zero comma four is one point on the graph of f prime of x. Because of the symmetry of the parabola, let's now find the slope of the tangent line at x equals four, which is this point here. The tangent line would look like this. And now let's find the slope. From the point of tangency, notice how if we go down four units and right one unit, we find another point on the tangent line. The vertical change is negative four. Horizontal change is positive one. The slope of the tangent line is negative four. X equals four. Let's record this below. When X is equal to four, the slope of the tangent line is negative four. The graph of the derivative function contains the point four comma negative four. And now let's sketch the tangent line at x equals one, and then we'll sketch the tangent line at x equals three. The tangent line at x equals one would look like this. Let's find the slope. Working away from left to right, from the point of tangency, if we move up two units and right one unit, we find another point on the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line at x equals one is two divided by one or two. So when x is equal to one, again, the slope of the tangent line or derivative function value is positive two. And now it's gets the tangent line at x equals three. Starting with the point of tangency, if we move down two units, the vertical change is negative two, and right one unit, the horizontal change is positive one, the slope of the tangent line at x equals three is negative two which gives us the point three comma negative two on the graph of the derivative function. And let's also sketch the tangent line at x equals two. Notice this is the vertex of the parabola, and therefore the tangent line is a horizontal line. And all horizontal lines have a slope of zero. So when x is equal to two, the derivative function value or slope of tangent line is zero. Now we will sketch these five points, which will be on the graph of f prime of x, and then we'll sketch f prime of x. So first we have the point zero comma four, then we have four comma negative four, one comma two, three comma negative two, and two comma zero. The graph of the derivative function is a line passing through these five points. So again we have f of x on the left, and we have f prime of x, or the derivative function, on the right. One more connection I'd like to make here. Notice where f of x is increasing. f prime of x is positive, or above the x-axis. And where f of x is decreasing, f prime of x is negative, or below the x-axis. Notice how the sign of f prime of x changes from positive to negative at x equals two, which corresponds to a high point on the graph of f of x, resulting in a relative, or in this case, an absolute maximum. I hope you found this helpful.